I'm just kind of drawn to the unknown a little bit. I, I just try to do things I don't know how to do. You know, it's, it's a continued education. Just kind of trying to embrace something and go, I'm not sure I can do that, you know. And it doesn't mean I'll do anything I haven't done before, but, you know, there has to be some sense of, uh, you can get underneath it and find the kind of steering wheel of uh, uh, why. I mean, you have to ask, answer the question, why do you have to tell this story, ultimately? When you talk directly to artists, you can start to bring them into, hey, this is the scene, here's the character, here's what he's saying. He's saying that, but he's really lying, but right after he says it, he's, he's like, did that work? You know, and, and, and there's all that sort of unknowing stuff that happens, and what's he feeling when he comes to the scene? Where did we come from? So everybody who worked on this film, um, at that point, and there were, you know, 150 talented artists, I think they all knew the entire movie and where it fit and where the character was going and you know where does my scene fit into everything else and you know what's Rango feeling at this moment or what spoons or waffles or any of these other characters what are they about what is their you know where are they coming from and where are they going? Oh, there's another one. I knew it. direct animators like you direct actors, I think, you know. I mean, there are, you know, there's casting involved when you handpick, you know, your team. And, um, and they are, you know, they are conjuring a performance. So you have to, uh, there's no, you can't be mechanical. You know, at some point, you know, uh, they're there at three in the morning working on frame 272 and, you know, and I want them to go, oh, you know, I should try this, you know, this other thing, or this twitch, or this nervous fl flicker or something. And, you know, you kind of throw detail at something until it becomes sentient. I mean, it's like a sample rate issue. It, it starts out not that different than sort of Harryhausen clay, even though it's on a computer. And you just start, you know, going through frame by frame and saying there should be a little, um, you know, muscle spasm under the eye when he, and a twitch here and, a, and a, a flicker there and a moment of doubt. And it's really kind of trying to get, you know, nuance in there until at some point it starts to become, I would say, a kind of particular reality, not, you know, not, not in a sense, in, not, not a reality because we don't have squid-faced characters walking down the street every day. So you're kind of going in with a sort of theatrical reality but and then um, you know I, I just uh, I, I've always been fascinated with that sense of um, uh, like a dream logic like it doesn't make any sense but you kind of go with it and I think that that's um, that's that's where Davy Jones lies in, in your dreams I, I like films that feel like they could go off the rails at any moment you know they're sort of you don't quite trust them and so we try to embrace that, and particularly in a, in, a, in a format that, you know, lends itself to perfection so easily. I mean, everything's on a computer, everything's kind of frontal lobe and, and conceived and plotted, and there's nothing really in, intuitive in the process, because nothing's real time. So you, you're constantly fabricating anomaly and, and, and and also, you know, even in a story real phase in the beginning, just embracing concepts that, you know, might be, um, you're not quite sure they're going to work. But you know, they're, even if they fail, they'll be kind of wonderful disasters. Doug?